It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We've got another beer from Brewski Brewery, and it's a collaboration again with Omnipolo, uh, both Swedish breweries. Great Swedish breweries. Massive fan of Brewski. Omnipolo, I've had some, I've had some really decent beers from them as well. Uh, this is a 330 milliliter can of Strawberry Fluff Forever Goza at 6%. ABV. Here's a picture. You can see it's kind of like strawberry looking gentleman on the front of the can. I think it's Henrik from Omnipolo, but I could be wrong. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Little bit of carbonation on the opening of the can. Now, uh, if this was like the blueberry version, this is gonna be like a smoothie, like a smoothie. Let's have a look, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Ooh, yeah, I mean, yeah, look at that, look at that. This one not looking so thick. The one I had the blueberry one was like, oh my goodness me, what do I, ha what do I have in the glass? This looks, um, for me, I would say looking at it, something a little bit more like a goza. Definitely like a goza. Strawberry in colour, one finger, pinky coloured head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. As I rock the beer back and forth, you get a sense of the the body of the beer, the thickness of the beer, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It does look like strawberry juice. Let's get the aroma. Thick and creamy looking beer. Well, now I love strawberries. I love strawberries, so this is going to be probably right up my street, this one. My parents, as a... When I was a youngster, they used to take me strawberry picking. And I used to absolutely fill my belly going round strawberry picking and my basket. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Just like thick strawberry jam. So the Goza style, if you're relatively new to beer or if you just need a little bit of a kind of an... A little bit of a kind of a update on the style. That didn't sound too good, does it? If you're new to beer, a Goza is a style of beer from the Goza region in Germany, the Goza River in Germany. And the Goza River has a certain level of kind of salt content in there that when the brewer, the breweries that opened and used the Goza River water, um, their beers were becoming salty so it become a, a style in its own right a goza style of beer a naturally salty beer that was massively massively popular for hundreds of years in germany but slowly but surely died away and it's only really the craft brewers around the world who were researching old styles of beer, come across this style and, and brought it back, but with a twist, with a fruity twist. So what I should get from this beer is lots of strawberry with a kick of salt. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> it's an interesting one, it really is. It's very thick, so very thick, so very tart and jammy. It's almost like liquid strawberry jam. The amount of flavour that's kind of just pummel in my mouth. Strawberry flavour.
I can imagine my wife loving this, and I think I might have said the same thing about the blueberry goes up between Brewski and Omnipolo. I can imagine my wife loving, absolutely loving this. Um, me, um, it's very different. It's very unique. It's very where we are now, right now in this moment of the kind of craft beer world. Um, there's so many craft brewers out there now that I think we're at the stage now where there's so many craft brewers that there's breweries simply brewing beer to try to differentiate from the crowd in the best way that they possibly can. We've gone through years of New England IPA. Years of it. I still love it. Lots of people still love it, but I know there's New England IPA fatigue out there. So people tried brewing brute IPAs. They were a thing for a while. Uh, then mountain IPAs tried to be a thing. Now we're in this world of heavily fruited beers and pastry stouts. And I was at a beer festival just the other day and the amount of people that kind of especially pastry stouts roll their eyes like oh, you know that so I, I spoke to a couple of brewers and their reaction was to pastry stouts that i can't believe that that style still has legs people are still kind of interested in brewing that style of beer so that kind of in terms of in terms of being in the industry, in terms of speaking to brewers and drinking lots of beer myself, it seems to be a style that's not very possibly liked in the in the industry amongst brewers and and, and people who kind of like myself who drink beer um, for their kind of profession. But but which may have legs for the younger market. You can imagine, you can imagine kind of young people in their 20s, early 20s, kind of really enjoying kind of pastry stouts and kind of this style of beer. But if you ask me a question, will this style of beer be around in two years time, three years time? I would probably say no. I'd probably say no, unless of course, unless, like the seltzers tried to be those alcoholic hard seltzers um it's a big thing in america they're trying to bring it out in europe but it's kind of not quite sticking at the moment because we have a different taste uh, i'm not a fan of seltzers um and unless it just sticks with the younger generation and i suppose this is what companies like omnipolo and brewski are trying to do they're trying their best to get kind of beers like this to stick with the younger generation. Because you can imagine this, couldn't you? You can imagine this becoming kind of Instagrammable and, and kind of very popular with the, with the younger generation who kind of go out clubbing and go out to all these kind of really hip bars. And it's the next thing to be holding something like this and enjoying something like this. But... Um, for, for somebody who likes to try lots and lots of different beer styles from around the world and who has experienced these styles coming and going, unless the younger generation get involved and really enjoy this, I can't see this being massively popular with craft beer drinkers for very long. But then what do the brewers do to differentiate themselves? I totally understand, with the amount of brewers out there, the need to do something a little bit different. It's as far away from a beer as, as 
you could possibly imagine. It's like drinking a strawberry smoothie, an alcoholic strawberry smoothie. But that's what they're going for. That's what they want. I mean, look at it. I'll try it on the wife, see if she likes it. Um, not much in the way of a description, just that it's brewed with Omnipolo and Bruce, or Brewski and Omnipolo. Uh, the ingredients. There's some vanilla flavour in there. I can taste the vanilla. Yeah, um, not there's, there's, I, there's not even any English ingredients on here. So it's, it's, it's not meant for the UK market. This beer was sent to me by Brewski. Uh, they probably thought that this wouldn't sell in the UK and they can probably tell by my reaction that they they did a good thing not sending this to the UK. Um, we have a very... So 55% of the beer drinking market in the UK are ale drinkers. Um, so it's a very kind of established beer market in the UK and, and I, not many people... I'm speaking for myself and, and I imagine this reason why they haven't sent it to the UK. Not many people I don't think were going to kind of buy this from uh, Brewski. But there we go. There we go. Um, my rating for this beer. <sighs> it doesn't do a lot wrong. It's slightly salty. It's, it's strawberry-like. Um, it does what it says on the tin. For that reason, I'm, I'm going to simply have to give it a 6 out of 10. Um, but would I buy it again? Or, or I didn't buy it, it was sent to me. Would I buy another can? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's not for me. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.